The whole concept of the Deriskin issue has to do with correspondent banks, essentially American banks and European banks, taking a decision not to do business in certain jurisdictions for concerns um, regarding either terrorist financing or money laundering or, or, or alternatively because they don't, don't consider the profits that they make in those jurisdictions to be sufficient. Now Belize has been impacted significantly but I hasten to add it's not a Belizean phenomenon. Um, most of the countries in the Caribbean from Trinidad in the south to Jamaica in the north have had the loss of correspondent banks in the last two years. Um, Belize it's peculiarly juxtaposed in Central America between Mexico and Guatemala have found itself, I guess, at the tip of the spear. But what I would say is that we are finding solutions to work around that. And that while the crisis hasn't come to an end, the banks in Belize, certainly Belize banks, we are finding ways to provide the correspondent banking services to our clients for them to get their money out of the country or to allow money to come into the country. We are extremely optimistic that this matter is going to be resolved in the short term and we are already on the road to recovery. Yeah. Well, could you give us a timeline for when that uh, recovery stage will be uh, reached? Sure. Um, well, as it is now, um, we continue to provide all of the correspondent banking services we have provided in the past. The difference between now and a year ago is that it's taken a bit longer to get the wires out, it's taken a bit longer to get the wires in, and it's become a little more expensive to get the wires out. But fundamentally, we continue to provide the same services. We just need to find a mechanism that will expedite that process.